G'day everyone, welcome back to another Game & Watch gameplay and unboxing video. So today we have Mickey Mouse that is in the widescreen series. Okay, so as you know, we're going through the widescreen series and we've already done Parachute and we've done Octopus, Popeye, Chef and now we have Mickey Mouse. Okay, so Mickey Mouse is part of the widescreen series. And for Mickey Mouse, uh, I'm going to be doing the gameplay for it today. Now, as always, we're just going to be running through a bit of information when it comes to Game & Watches in general. As you know, the Game & Watches were released in between 1980 to 1991. They were created by game developer Gunpei Yakoi, and they sold over 43 point four million units worldwide and along with that each game and watch basically had a four bit cpu with a sharp sm5 family pc cp uh, rom and ram and an lcd drive circuit basically like the screen okay so that is um a bit of the information now with regards to um mickey mouse this one here was one of the first probably uh, games, of course, uh, along with Popeye, that Nintendo started working with different, um, well, of course, with Disney. So, as you can see, if you look very close down the bottom there, you've got Walt Disney Productions, which is really cool, because it seems like, as you know, um, this one, this Mickey Mouse was basically released, I'll, I'll tell you that now, Mickey Mouse was released um, on October the 9th, 1981, and Mickey Mouse sold approximately between a quarter of a million to one million units okay worldwide that is so that basically as i said to you before so basically what i said so in between two hundred and fifty thousand to one million units worldwide now the model number mc two five okay so each each game and watch does go through a sequence and the sequence basically different model number which is like mc okay so basically mickey mouse something um, <laughs> if you want to call it, and 25 is the sequence number, okay, so Parachute started off with 21, Octopus 22, uh, uh, Popeye 23, Chef 24, and Mickey Mouse 25, okay, so that is that, so uh, once again, it was released, uh, Mickey Mouse was released October 9th, 1981, and that is enough of my blabbering on about that and showing you the box, okay? So what I'm going to do now, um, as you can see, that's the serial number. Sometimes they most of the time match, depending on how uh, good and how, how you got your Game & Watches back in the day. Uh, normally, if it's, yeah, they normally should match with your, um, with your console unit, if you want to call it your handheld unit. Um, anyway, so I've gone through the box a lot. Uh, and now I'm going to take that out, put that on the ground, and then let's have a look at the um, foam. Now, as you can see, it's in pretty good condition. And, uh, and then this is the area where you always put, you can always put your batteries. This one here I have not used. Um, I just keep it in there just, you know, because I don't need it. But I'm going to be using a different ba um, different set of batteries for the gameplay. All right, so that is the Game & Watch. Um, seems like the model number might have been the same. But anyway, what I'll do is I'll put this um, on the ground. As you said, we've already gone through the foam. I like to always keep my Game & Watches in good condition. Um, I know I have a, I do have a couple of other ones that are just standard that I just use for testing purposes and um, playing around with. And some of them here I don't use. I just keep them only just for show and then sometimes just for doing the Game & Watch gameplay videos. Okay. So here is um, uh, now this one here. I believe uh, that I'm not sure because I cannot read it. Could be the warranty card. Um, these ones are sometimes quite rare to get a hold of. Uh, it could be, but if, if I'm if I'm not correct, if I am incorrect, let me know. Uh, but it could be the warranty card or information card there. All right, so that is it. Let's move into the instructions. Now, game, uh, Mickey Mouse was quite an interesting game. Uh, as you can see, uh, you've got uh, him catching eggs. So it's basically a egg catching uh, juggling, not juggling though, but egg catching game. Uh, he's stuck in a little chicken coop area and there's four different uh, chickens and he's got a basket and he's got to catch them before they all fall to the ground. So as you can see there, there's also like a little chicken that runs away. I'll explain the instructions as we go along. Um, so anyway, so that is this is the instructions manual. You know, I always like to go through everything in general. I um, just want to go through and show everything. Now, as you can see, this is once again in Japanese. That's a uh, Mickey Mouse. 
uh, and MC25, okay? So let's keep going along. So first page, of course, is just the instructions, the um, table of contents information, and then moving along to here, more information regarding, um, I think, just the way the game is made and what it's about. And on this one here is the next screen, as I was explaining to you before, all the different screens, uh, all the things that happen on the screen. It's not the reset screen, okay, not the ACL screen, but it does give you all the information regarding like um, Minnie Mouse, who also rings the alarm, which I'll be showing you soon. Uh, then you've got the um, the chickens on both sides, okay, and you've got uh, you've got the up hand, low hand, up hand, and low hand. Now, it's, it's basically he'll move his basket up and down depending on the left and right area, okay. And then of course. Um, You've got game A, game B, time, and of course, as I mentioned before, the AM and uh, PM times, of course, as well. Now, as so, once again, I'm very sorry, as I said, everything's in Japanese. Now, if you want, always make sure that if you want, just pause it. I'll get my fingers out of the way so you can have a little quick look and you can read the instructions. Um, but basically, this, this section here, all the numbers that are shown, as you can see, are all represented on this side, explaining to you what um, how it works, okay? Now, with game A uh, and game B, they're, po but they're both different, but I'll explain that in a second. As you can see, this is the ACL time alarm section, okay? So the ACL is a reset screen. Now, with the reset screen, as you can see here, I'll bring it up onto the screen. You can have a quick look and have a look at it carefully. You'll see this when I do put the batteries in. This shows you every single piece of animation that will appear on the Game & Watch for Mickey Mouse, okay? So, and as, as always, there's an alarm and there's a time. Game A, Game B on both sides. Gives you all the information that you see and what you need to know when you do start the game. Now, this is the alarm section, as you can see there. And I've always mentioned this in all my videos. Um, there's always going to be a different character, item, or person. So in this case, it's Minnie Mouse. She holds the alarm. So basically, the alarm needs to show on the screen. And I will show that as well once we start. And that would basically uh, let the alarm play. If you do not have that, it will not play. Now, getting to the uh, getting to the instructions on game A. With game A, basically what happens is uh, you've got four chickens, okay, all laying eggs, and um, the eggs will drop only from three different areas. So three different chickens. Now, as you can see there, there's a number three, okay, and basically. Uh, the eggs will drop only from three sections. So if I quickly sw swing back, you'll see that there's one chicken, two chickens, three chicken, four chicken. Randomly, when the game starts, it'll probably be maybe, maybe one, two, and th the one up the top, three, or it could be one, two, and three, depending on what it is, okay? So that's that's how it'll work, and the eggs will drop down. Now, um, when you're playing in game B, all four chickens will drop eggs, okay? So that is pretty much the only major difference, okay? And the high score, of course, is 99. And you do get a reset every 100. They say every 100, but um, we'll test that out. Hopefully, we'll see. Um, with game B, um, you'll get all the chickens come out at the same time. I know, basically, it's just really quickly. just shows you there as well. Uh, I'll get that out of the way, okay? Now, one thing you also got to know, uh, I'll, I'll explain once we get further anyway. So move on is uh, the batteries and how to put them in. Okay, so batteries are very easy to put in. Of course, put the plus up, the negative down, slide out the, the clip, put it back in, and we're good to go. All right, and this one here is the last section on how to play it and the best position to see the screen. Okay, so basically 40, 45, five degree offset, everything is good to go. All right, so that is that. And the last part is the, just the information on the model and everything in, in general, how it's made. Make sure you keep it below a certain percentage of degrees. Everything in general. Okay, then this, this is, must be the testing page. And that is it. And warranty information and, of course, of um, the other products in the Game & Watch wide screen series. Okay, the widescreen series were the third. First were the silver, then the gold. And then they were um, the widescreen. Okay, so this is it. This is the white screen, and that is the instruction manual. Now, hopefully, we'll get to a couple of them that have English, which we, of course, we will. Um, but for now, that we are always looking, we're, we've been looking at the game and watches in the instructions manual, of course, in Japanese. As you know, the Jap, uh, the of course, Nintendo is a Japanese company, and of course, the game and watches did originate from there. But they also had um, other games, game and watches, of course, the. Uh, 
in other different countries that of course had their own instructions in their own country and we'll hopefully get a couple in English down the track. All right, so this is um, Mickey Mouse, a nice red color, same as Octopus. I think it's nearly exactly the same in color of red. It's nice and nice and bright. Buttons, <laughs> buttons go really well with it, of course, because it's nice and red as well. And as you can see, it's a nice brushed goldy color metal. As you can see there, I'm just trying to see if I can show you the screen. It looks really nice. Okay, it looks really cool. Uh, this one here is one of my ones that I don't use very often. Uh, there is a, you know, I try and keep it very nice. You can see like a little scratch there. I'm very disappointed about that. But sometimes you can't, you know, depending on how, like I said, the, as old they are, as, you know, for how old they are, 1981, I like to say that this is in great condition. Okay, so that is that. Now, as you can see, the batter, um, they got four, the, the four chickens. Mickey Mouse comes out from the top. Uh, Minnie Mouse comes out from the top, rings, rings the alarm. And as you can see, game A, game B time, and uh, up, down, up, down, on left and right. Okay, cool. And as I mentioned before, it is a Walt Disney Productions association with Nintendo, which was I said, probably, I believe, one of the first games, one of the first, one of the first um, joint partnerships, I guess. Uh, of course, there was Popeye, but Popeye, um, that was with a, a different one, Payo, I believe it was. But yeah, that's it. So anyway, so switching, uh, swapping it around, as you can see, that is also the um, latch where you can place it on the ground, okay, and it'll sit. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, and that's this also the um, serial number, which I believe it was matching with a box. And if we bring it up closely here, you can see the model information, which is MC25, battery, rating, and Nintendo patent in 1981, and made in Japan. All right, so without further ado, let's put the batteries in. Okay, now I've got some extra, I've got some batteries here. I'm not gonna use the ones that I was showing you before that came in the box. So let's put them in. Okay, and then once we put them in, you'll hear a little click. All right, that's the click. And let's flick it around. All righty, so that is the reset screen. Nice and crisp and clean. As I was mentioning before, I like to make sure that all the gaming watches that I've got are in as best condition as possible. Okay, so Mickey Mouse looks like it's cool. All right, so as you can see there, that is the reset screen, and it's much clearer than looking at, a, at the instruction manual. So all four chickens will lay eggs, and Mickey has to catch them. Now, with the little chicken that you can see in the bottom, okay, occasionally that will, when an egg drops, the chicken, a little baby chicken will fall out. Now, if that is the case, you do not get a miss because the little baby chicken ran away. But if the egg falls and there is no baby chicken that comes out, that is when you lose a life, or if you want to call it a miss. And if you get three of them, the game is over. All right, so apart from that, let's set up the time. Um, let's On this side, of course, is the hour. So I'll make it pretty much used to always making it about five o'clock in the morning and on this side is the time so let's make it 5 10 okay so with that once you are ready okay all you've got to do is pretty much just press time right there and we're done okay now we are in demo mode now you'll see this in action as i was mentioning before there's mini now one thing you can note is when when mini comes out okay this is another little tip when you're playing mickey mouse when Minnie comes out, if she comes out right now and, you, and an egg drops while she is in the display, you do not lose a miss, or if you want to call it a life. So that's really cool. Remember that. Um, so if uh, Minnie's out, she will save you, if you want to call it. Okay? So apart from that, let's move into the alarm. Now, if you press the time again, okay, that is what time the alarm was pl will play. But as you can see, Minnie's out but there's no alarm bell in her hand. So to actually get the alarm bell to uh, appear, I've got my little uh, screwdriver. Let's press alarm. Now watch, let's see if we can see it. I can't do it, maybe you can't see it from here. But just put it anywhere, you'll see it in a second. Put alarm, and as you can see, that alarm bell has appeared. Very easy, but you've got to press that alarm button, okay, with a pen. Now it was 5.10. So let's make it 512, 5, and then 12, okay. All right, so once you're ready, all you've got to do is press time again, and it's done. Now, as you can see there, see that, that bell there? That is ready to go off when the alarm 
will and the alarm will play. So this is this is another way, um, as I've mentioned before, with all my other little Game & Watch videos, that um, the alarms were, you know, quite uh, loud back in the day, and they're really good to use as a um, wake up in the morning or any time in general. So uh, as I'm talking, the alarm should hopefully go off in the next couple of seconds, and you'll hear the sound, and you'll hear Mini. Uh, hey, there you go. There's that little uh, little um, chicken that drops when Mini comes out if you set to save you. All right. So as you can see there, the alarm is going off. I'll pe I'll be quiet for a second so you can hear it. All right. So that is the alarm, and it will go off for quite a while until you press the time. Basically, the time is more like a, a stop me from playing sort of thing. Um, there isn't a snooze, so it will not snooze. And um, that is it. So that is it. That's how it goes. So as I mentioned always before, there's always a different character for every different game and watch that you get that will um, play a, uh, a different kind of animation. But the sound is always pretty much the same because, of course, the game and watches were quite basic when it came to sound. Okay. So once we're ready and done, all you got to do is press time and mini will stop. Done. Okay, so that's it. That's enough of me blabbering on about how to how everything works without playing the game. All right. So as I mentioned before, game A only three chickens will throw e will, will drop eggs. Game B, all the chickens will throw uh, will drop eggs. Okay. So let's get it. Let's get this on, and we'll see this in action. Hopefully, I'll play well, and you can see everything that happens. Okay. So let's press game A and start it right now. Here we go. All right, so as you can see, that's the first of the three, okay, and that's the second one. So we don't know which one the third one. It's going to be one of the bottom ones, of course. There you go. Okay, so the only ones that will come out in this gameplay at this point in time until you make a mistake. As soon as you make a mistake, the three will re will change. Okay, it could be it could be maybe well, of course it'll be the bottom one up the top. Uh, it'll be probably that one there, but at this point in time. All you got to do is focus on the three. Just like that. Now, it's not too hard, but you've got to make sure that you calculate. I just made a mistake. And Mini saved me. There you go. So the miss was there, but it didn't count. It didn't count. As you can see, uh, it's flashing. Now, the flash basically means that it, it's not a count. It's basically like a half if you want to call it. It's hard to explain, but it's not a full miss. Now, as I was explaining while I was talking and making a mistake, that um, you've got the eggs up the top do uh, kind of travel faster. It is very similar to all the other juggling type of games like parachute, fire, uh, in general, where you've got to kind of estimate, learn the sequence, learn the pattern, okay, just like Popeye 2, and learn how the eggs drop and which one came out first, so you know where to position Mickey to pick uh, to place his uh, basket. So as I was mentioning before, um, you can see that the drop did not count because Minnie was out, which is perfect timing, and uh, the miss doesn't count. Even though it's flashing, it doesn't count because it's basically classed as a half. If you want to call it, it's even like a half a chance, and um, that is it. So as you can see, after once I explained as well, once um, you do make a mistake, you the the chickens who lay the eggs rotate and start and 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 basically uh, lay eggs in different locations. And basically, the three of the, the the eggs of of the chickens, which I was basically explaining, will, will swap around. Okay, so there's only three, and as you saw. The other one stopped, and the, and the one at the bottom where I am now is laying the egg. And another thing you do note, as always, once it gets closer to 100, the game speed increases, the sound gets a bit faster, eggs drop quicker, and you've got to be a bit more alert. So take note, as you can see, you can hear a lot more sound going, a lot more eggs dropping, and we're going to get to 100. Done. And everything's back to normal. Now, I believe that um, the 100 reset isn't the case. I think it, I think it's over 200 to 300. I think 200 and 500 is, I believe, when the uh, 
you get a reset. And at the moment, it didn't get a reset. But as you can see, it's not too hard. Even though I'm concentrating and I was, may, I was probably not making any sense at one point, uh, it's not a very complicated game. It's a cool uh, positioning game where you basically have to just catch the eggs. Similar to Parachute, similar to Popeye, not too hard. But it is fun because you basically your coordination is needed because you've you got to use basically the four buttons, oh, or well, only three buttons in game A, considering the, game, uh, the, the other buttons in game B. Uh, which you've got to use all four. All right, so now it's getting quite, it's not getting, I've, I'm quite, I'm doing quite well and talking and concentrating at the same time. So let's make a mistake. Okay, so as you can see, that an egg dropped and mini, a mini was there, but because I dropped it the second time, that counted as one miss. So as, as I was explaining before, uh, it's like a half, but then once you get two of one, of the little chickens that run away that classes as one one miss and it's completed as one see it doesn't flash anymore let's try and make a mistake again Minnie's there again and she actually let the chicken run away so now that's once again half Minnie comes out quite a lot in game eh? I guess maybe um, and as, as I mentioned before let's miss that one okay that was a complete crack Okay, and as you as you saw that, it moves across to one to the other. Okay, so now if I make any more mistakes now before I get to a reset, which is basically I think two hundred, uh, the game will be completed or end. Okay, so let's make another mistake. No mini, oh mini's out, but it's too late because I already had two and a half. All right, so that is how this one is played. Now it's a little bit, oh, not that complicated. It's not complicated, but you just have to note that. When Mini comes out, you will have a chance to not have a complete full miss. That's pretty much the word. When Mini um, is not out and the egg cracks and no little chicken comes out, okay, that is a, a that is a full miss, okay. And if two misses come out, basically two little chickens come out, that makes one full miss. I, ho I hope that makes sense. All right, so. Let's get in position and play game B. So if you want, to, if you don't want to play this, if you don't want to play this anymore, of course, press time, okay, and that'll go back to normal, and that'll go back into the uh, reset screen, okay. Quite simple, not too hard. Now with game B, as I mentioned before, all four chickens drop eggs. So let's go and let's see how fast they drop and see how hard it is this time. Now it's not hard. It's just that now with game B, you've got to be alert and you've got to see everything, okay. All four eggs will drop in different areas so as you can see all four came out mini still comes out which is great so she'll give you the help that you need when the eggs come out and if you miss one i got that one just then lucky so always take note as i was saying before that the top part of the top eggs drop quicker than the ones at the bottom so you just gotta make sure that you're in a good spot and you always cut you always you know position yourself right because if you don't they'll fall and they'll crack so this one here is much more of a challenge and it is my I think in my opinion much more fun because um, you've got you utilizing pretty much every single egg drop from all the chip uh, from all the hens and it, it, it gives you a bit more of a challenge as always I think it's always fun to um, start playing on game a get used to the patterns Get used to the way the game plays, uh, how all the eggs drop, the sequences, the patterns, I guess. And um, then once you think you're really good, move to game B. So as you can see, it's not too hard. Normally by now with my other previous Game & Watch gameplay videos, um, I'd, be, I'd probably have lost a life by now. But I'm doing quite well. I'm not going to jinx myself, I guess, maybe I will. But it's not too hard. And it is quite a fun game. Ah, I missed one. And oh, the, the Mickey, uh, mini was out. So I got a half. Okay. So just take note. There's no reset. There's no re oh, there, it, it, there is a reset. But as you know, with game B, uh, all the chickens, all the hens will be still dropping eggs. And there will not be any change of positioning uh, on which ones will drop out from. All four are still going to be coming out. 
So they got, it's going to get a bit quicker. There you go. Doing pretty good. So as you can see, the sequences are just something that you've just got to learn. And as you know, it's going to start speeding up now. Speeding up quite quickly. Going to get to 100 soon. See if I can keep keep my momentum going without making any more mistakes. Oh, that was a fast one. There you go. And we're back to slowness. So a little bit of slowness. The 100 basically is like a respite. Gives you a bit of time to re- calibrate yourself get back to normal the eggs will still always constantly drop you know everyone knows that there, is, there never is a pause button you got to keep going as soon as you start playing but once it gets to over a hundred uh, then it starts slowing down again as you can see I've not done too bad considering it's game B doing about the same 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 kind of style of game uh, play as uh, game game a Game B, as I mentioned, I think it's just, it's going to be quicker, of course. You'll get the scores faster because you've got four eggs to pick up um, from different angles. And as I was also mentioned, I might not have mentioned, is um, game A and game B, you only get one point per egg you pick up. You don't get any more than one point. Um, so every egg you collect is one point. But that's why I was mentioning game B, it'll be quicker to get your score because all four eggs will drop considering uh, compared to just three in game A. Okay, as you can see, everything's going quite well. Um, I think I might have, to, uh, I might, I might end it soon, because I guess there is uh, the gameplay now is com probably makes complete sense on how it's played. And as you can see, it's not too hard, but now it's getting quick again. Okay, let's see. If we get to two hundred. Ah, as soon as I said let's get to two hundred, I, I make a mistake. So as you can see there, that was an egg that fell. No chicken because Minnie was not out of the window. And um, that was considered a full error, a full error miss. Okay. So as you can see, the top one too, the egg at the top normally drop faster. You can hear the sound too. The sound actually can give you some indication. Ooh. Oh, look at that. All right, so your 200 clears your misses. There you go. That was probably one of the first ones I've done in a while that actually showed you that we got to 200. So there you go. So as you can see, it's not too hard because I got to 200, but I got my reset, my, got my misses reset. All right, so let's end this now. Otherwise, we'll never, we'll never finish. Okay, so that was a complete error egg. No, um, Minnie Mouse did not come out. Uh, when she's out, as I mentioned before, that's just, there you go, little chicken, and that's Minnie, so she's out. So that's, two, that's one and a half error. Okay, so if I miss another one right now, let's say I miss the bottom one, that's a full error. That'll take you to two and a half. Okay, and now I'm on my last legs. Okay, so if I miss anything, even if Mini comes out, as I just did, that is a complete end of the game. All right, so I know that I've gone a little bit long in this one, I guess. It's nearly <laughs> close to 30 minutes on a gameplay game for the Game & Watch for Mickey. Um, but I hope it was informative. So that is it. So once you finished, as always, just press the time and you're good to go. Okay, so as always, I know I was mentioning before, you've got the little latch. I, just, I didn't do that before. You can always just place it on the ground, just like that. And Mickey will play and the alarm will go off if you have um, if you have it set to your little bedside stand in general. That's what I used to do back in the time. All right, so that is it. So um, I'll pick it up once again, show you everything. So that is it. Now, I apologize if I did take too long with this, but I hope that you guys enjoyed the gameplay for this one. Um, it is quite fun. It's not too hard, and it's quite enjoyable. So that is that. Now, um, the next Game & Watch in the gameplay video um, is basically pretty much the same game. Uh, and that is called Egg. Let me get it out. Here we are. Now, this one, Egg, this guy here, he is one of the most rarest Game & Watches that I've ever had to collect. And a lot of people have also been saying the same thing. Egg is exactly like um, Mickey Mouse, as you can see. But the only difference is it is a wolf. And then there's a chicken instead of Minnie. Now, this is one of the most rarest Game & Watches that you can get. Um, and it's also the most expensive one of them. Okay, there are a few others, but this one here is really, 
really expensive. So please stay tuned for this next Game & Watch gameplay video for Egg. Um, I'll try and do them a bit quicker than before because I know it's been a while since I've done the last Game & Watch gameplay video. Um, and that is it. So like I said, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. I'll do my best to answer them, especially for Mickey Mouse. But if you have any questions in general about Game & Watches, please message me. Um, I'm more than happy to answer them because I, you know, I've got a lot of experience and I've played a lot of the, these Game & Watches. And if you have any questions, please go ahead and do them. Um, if you want to see anything in general, uh, let me know. Leave a comment as well. Um, but otherwise, apart from that, please don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the bell. And I will see you in the next Game & Watch video. Okay, so take care guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye!